Hey guys, what is up? Alex Scott here with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our super cool studio gear reviews. A very quick little video today provided by the guys at Tau Software. We did a video review of their uh, Tau vocoder, which is a free vocoder plugin that they offer a couple of months ago. They saw that, got in touch with us, said, hey, we love the review. We would love for you guys to check out some of our other plugins. And they offer quite a few different, both paid and free plugins on their site, tau-software.com. So they sent us over some licenses is kind of a little sponsorship type thing um, for me to check out some of their plugins. And so far I have been blown away by every, everything that they have to offer. So definitely check their site out and a big thank you to them for making um, these videos possible, giving us their stuff to check out. Like I said, there's gonna be a very quick video today on a plugin that I just, it's very, very simple. It's dead simple. It's probably one of the simplest plugins I've ever seen, but I think it's a very cool idea and it's something that I'm actually gonna use all the time. So I just wanted to do a little quick blurb on it, show you guys what it sounds like. This is the Chorus LX. And if you guys are synth heads, you'll already recognize, hang on, a chorus with two buttons, one labeled one and one labeled two. I recognize that. Yes, this is a simple little plug-in version of the chorus from the Roland Juno. Now, if you guys don't know what a Roland Juno is, it's a classic synthesizer. Tau also makes an emulation of the Juno called the Uno, and it's an awesome plug-in version of the Juno. It sounds really, really nice and emulates a lot uh, of the tone and, and the, the analog warmth and the texture of the oscillators and all this stuff that the original Juno brings to the party. And in this simple little plugin, which is free, by the way, you can get this for free on their site, it just emulates the chorus section. And if you know the Juno, you'll know that the chorus section is one of people's favorite features about it. And in fact, they would sometimes hack their way into a Juno um, just to to get signal into that chorus and get it back out because it was such a cool sounding, unique sounding chorus. They actually just recently, I can't remember who, I wanna say it's TC Electronic maybe, somebody just released a guitar pedal version of the Juno chorus. So it would be this plugin, but as a guitar pedal. It's just a really legendary chorus. And in this plugin, you know, like I said, it is dead simple. We have chorus setting one and chorus setting two, and you can choose either of them or both of them. Then we have a dry wet, and then we have stereo width. That's all there is to it. This doesn't even come in with any presets because it doesn't even need any presets because it's so dang simple. But what it lacks in extensive feature sets and all this kind of stuff, it makes up for it by sounding just absolutely classic and awesome. So we've got a little Rhodes loop pulled up here, a little kind of funky distorted Rhodes thing. <laughs> And I just wanted to click through and show you guys, yes, this does sound exactly like the original Juno chorus, and it sounds awesome. So here's chorus one. So chorus one is the gentler of the two settings, um, and you can hear immediately you get a ton of stereo width out of it, and just this really nice, subtle textural effect. And you'll see they've even included this stereo width um, feature, which lets you rein it in if that's a little bit too wide for your tastes. You know, you can really bring it in as much as you want uh, in terms of, of imaging. So very, very cool feature there. And of course we've got dry and wet. That was at 50%. And there's all the way out. I mean, just as like an imaging tool, this is so great. You know, I use the Eventide H910 Harmonizer plugin all the time to get widening effects, but now that I've found this thing, I love what it does, where it, it's not too effecty. It doesn't sound like a really thick, rich, deep chorus. That's more what setting two is for. It's just a very simple widening kind of a thing. So it's a great, easy tool for that. Now, setting two is a little bit richer. <laughs> You can hear that's more of a of a chorus that, that you would be able to, to identify and kind of pick out of a crowd, so to speak. Especially when, he, when we turn that wet all the way up, you can really hear it warbling. And you know, it's a great emulation of, of the sound of the original uh, Juno chorus. When you kick them both in, that's where things really start to get fun. We'll pull our, our wet dry back to 50%. <laughs> That's fully wet. And then there's without again. You know, it, it again, it doesn't have tons of features. You can't really tweak what it's doing. 
but what it is doing is so pleasing and it's so classic sounding and even just these few little extra controls that we've given enough give you give you enough room to sculpt a little bit i just think it's a very cool plugin and the fact that you can get it for free is awesome now there's certain elements of the original juno chorus that it's not doing the main thing is that those original junos the the whole unit and particularly the chorus was well known for being very noisy um having a lot of kind of hiss uh, and crackle to it um because it was an all analog device from from back in the day and obviously we're not getting any of that noise here it is just a clean digital representation of the effect that the chorus had so there's going to be guys who go well it's it's not a real Juno chorus or, you know, synth or whatever for that matter, because it's not emulating everything, including the blemishes and the little problems and the interference noise and all this stuff. Uh, but there's some guys like me who go, you know, it'd be cool if it did that, but it's not necessary. If they wanted to put in a little knob that let you bring in that noise or something, that would be a neat feature. But ultimately, you know, it does a great job of emulating the texture of that original Juno chorus, and it makes it very, very easy to slap on any source in your mix in a very small, compact, easy to use plugin that you don't have to fiddle a ton with. And, you know, it's, I'm sure, very processor light, you know, it's not CPU heavy, so you could use it quite a bit in a session. And it just, it's a great stereo imaging tool where you can just spread things a little bit and using either both settings on or that number two setting, you know, is a really nice core, you know, just general chorus sound as well. It's going to work great on synthesizers, guitars, really anything. Um, you know, the, the, the Juno course has been used for some pretty legendary sounds um, in on lots of, lots of lots of records so just a very very cool plugin and the fact that they're offering it for free i think is is just awesome but in any case what do you guys think do you have any other chorus or modulation plugins that you guys like um, especially free ones uh, any thoughts you guys might have please leave them in the comments down below i always appreciate hearing from you hearing what you thought of the video all that good stuff so chime in down there and as always if you have not subscribed as of yet please do so that really helps the channel out click the notification bell to be kept up to date as we post new videos and if you want to like or share this video that would be awesome as well but regardless my name is alex scott with costardini.com thank you guys so much for watching the video and we will see you in the next one